On March 31, 2024, it became known that the Russian army destroyed the eighth in a row American Abrams tank. As it turned out, on March 30, in the Avdiivka direction of the front, near the village of Salovayovo, not far from Berdichi, the Russian armed forces discovered and destroyed another American tank with the help of a Lancet 3 Kamikaze drone. The video shows that the American tank hid in dense thickets, in the hope that it would not be discovered. However, this disguise did not help the American tank. The video shows how the Russian kamikaze drone maneuvers, dodging enemy fire, and eventually hits the Abrams tank, completely destroying it. This combat vehicle became the sixth destroyed U.S. Abrams tank, which was officially documented. At the same time, it is worth noting that in February this year, the armed forces of Ukraine also lost two Abrams tanks, which were seriously damaged as a result of running over Russian mines in the Avdiivka direction of the front. And Ukrainian engineers still cannot restore these tanks. Thus, the total number of lost Abrams tanks by the armed forces of Ukraine amounted to eight units. Meanwhile, on March 31, 2024, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation officially confirmed that during the recent massive missile strikes on the territory of Ukraine, the Russian army began using the latest Zircon hypersonic missiles. In particular, representatives of the Russian Defense Ministry officially stated that starting from March 23, 2024, Zircon hypersonic missiles destroyed dozens of military targets on the territory of Ukraine. In total, from 23 to March 30, 2024, Zircon hypersonic missiles destroyed dozens of targets in cities such as Kiev, Kharkiv, Dnipropetrovsk, and Zaporizhia. Moreover, after these missile attacks, the Ukrainian telegram channel showed the so-called flight timeline, where experts analyzed the estimated time of approach of these latest hypersonic missiles to their intended targets on the territory of Ukraine. So, it turned out that Zircon hypersonic missiles launched from the Black Sea, reached Kiev in just six minutes. As for Kharkiv, Zircon hypersonic missiles fired from the Black Sea, reached the city in five minutes. For about three minutes, Zircon hypersonic missiles fly to targets located in cities such as Zaporizhia and Dnipropetrovsk. These figures are really impressive which indicates that the Zircon missile can really maintain hypersonic speed while being in a horizontal position for a long time. According to insiders, the news that Russia, in addition to the Kinsol hypersonic missile, also uses the latest Zircon missile in the Special Military Operation Zone, caused a real shock to the NATO leadership. Thus, it can be stated that Russia has become the first country in the world whose hypersonic missiles have not only entered mass production, but are also massively used in a real war zone. While other countries, including the United States, are desperately trying to create and adopt at least one effective hypersonic missile, Russia is already in full swing using several types of hypersonic missiles in a real combat zone. Moreover, according to sources in the Russian Defense Ministry, the valuable experience gained during a special military operation in Ukraine allowed Russian engineers to start work on creating new, more advanced, and deadly types of hypersonic missiles.
Meanwhile, it became known that Russia had launched another massive missile strike on the territory of Ukraine using the latest Zircon hypersonic missiles. As it turned out, on the night of March 31, the Russian armed forces launched two waves of kamikaze drones and missiles of various types at military facilities located in the territory of Ukraine. It is reliably known that during this missile attack, Russia managed to destroy dozens of energy sector facilities, as well as strategic military objects. In particular, such regions of Ukraine as Kharkiv, Odessa, Lviv, and Ivano-Frankivsk were subjected to massive missile strikes. According to preliminary data, during this attack, Russia used dozens of kamikaze drones and cruise missiles of various types, including the latest Zircon hypersonic missiles. So, in Kharkiv, Russian missiles destroyed the place of the deployment of the personnel of Polish mercenaries, who were directly involved in the attacks on the border regions of Russia. It is reported that during this attack, more than 50 Polish mercenaries were destroyed, including high-ranking officers of the armed forces of Ukraine. In the Lviv and Ivano-Frankivsk regions of western Ukraine, Russian missiles and drones destroyed numerous gas infrastructure facilities. Moreover, Russian missiles once again attacked the city of Stray, in the Lviv region. It is not yet known what exactly was destroyed there. However, I will definitely inform you about which object was destroyed, as soon as the first reliable information appears. In the city of Odessa, Russian missiles destroyed the Agilic substation, as a result of which electricity has become unavailable throughout the city. Immediately after that, Zircon hypersonic missiles struck and destroyed two NATO underground warehouses in the southern part of Odessa, where maritime drones and missiles for Western multiple launch rocket systems were stored. Moreover, as a result of this missile attack, about 10 people who were at these military facilities were also destroyed. However, it is still unknown whether the killed persons were representatives of the armed forces of Ukraine or NATO.